in this video we are going to talk about how to create the prompt page for country city and then we are going to create a prompt on year and there should be only one prompt page so go back to this report and make sure there is no condition formatting so click on no variable and then go to prompt pages drag and drop a prompt page from the right side in this area and now we are gonna create a prompt so before that <coughs> let's put a table so we need three prompts country year and city and then we're gonna have three rows and two columns so two columns three rows one row for each of the prompts next I'm gonna drop the text box here and I'm gonna say country city and year and I'm gonna align it okay and now I'm going to use the value prompt drag and drop the value prompt like that and let's create the first prompt which is country the same method as we have done earlier but in this time around I'm going to show you how to create a cascade on multiple select so I'm gonna use in so country in P country make sure you apply the prompt in all the three areas all the three queries this is chart so list chart and cross tab next create query underscore p underscore country the same I'm gonna do it for city so I'm gonna do it really quick city say next again select next make sure you select the first three queries only and then at the very end I'm gonna select again a value prompt for year So this is how it is and then you can see the prompts country if I select US there is no change so let's do a cascade on country and city country being the parent so this time if I make multi select as no it's gonna let me select only one country but I would like to have multiple countries to be selected and if I do not make multi select no it's it won't allow me to select auto submit as yes so this is the problem right 
I can only select one country in order for the auto submit to be enabled. That means on this prompt page, Cognos does not know if it is multi select, how many selections am I going to make so that it can submit the page. So let's do this. For now, I'm going to say no and then auto submit is yes. And you know that I have to make the local processing. So I'm going to change all the three prompts local processing as limited local. And now if I run this, you can see that this is auto submit. I haven't set the property of the country for city but this is single select you can see a prompt appearing so let me go back to the prompt and select country as the cascade source for city there you go so country cascade source for city remember we haven't done the multi select yet I'm just showing you the so this is India you can see Mumbai, Bangalore, UK, London, and US, Chicago, New York. But I want it multi select. So, how to do that? It's the reprompt button. So, first of all, I'll make this is yes. So, automatically the auto submit is turned no. Then, from the value prompt, I'm going to select a button. So prompt button I can place it anywhere you wish so in the type make sure you select reprompt very important select the button make the type as reprompt and now if you run the report if you select multiple for example India and UK and click on reprompt button it's going to show you the locations for India and UK that's how you would do an auto uh, a cascade on multi select prompts so you can change the name of the button to so go back again to the text item drag and drop a text on the top of this button and say select or refresh city you can type anything I'm just saying refresh city now if I run the report it's gonna say refresh city I'm gonna select UK and US refresh isn't it exciting I'm going to select all the current cities and I'm going to select a year and say finish. There you go. So the report is working for only UK US. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about how to create a drill through and we will pass instead of data item value, we are going to pass the parameter value. Keep watching. Thank you.